everyone welcome back to another video and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome in today's video i'm going to be trying out a new mask mascara and it's the ColourPop Act Natural Mask Mascara and this is in the brown shade. So I'm going to apply my Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so my eye primer is on and today I'm also going to be using the Natasha Denona. I got this little eyeshadow shade in a Sephora order that I purchased and it's from the Zendo eyeshadow palette which I believe is their new spring palette. So I got the shade Sense from the palette. I'm going to go in with a couple of shades from the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette in Warm Neutrals. I'm going to take this shade right here. It's a matte brown. I'm just placing this right into the crease. This is a brush from Storybook Cosmetics and they're so soft these brushes. So there's the matte brown in my crease and I'm actually going to leave it just like this. I'm not going to deepen up the outer corner. So now I'm going to take the Na Natasha Denona Zendo palette, the shade Sense. I'm going to take it on my pinky, like a warm coppery brown shade and just place it right on my lid. Just like this looking very nice so far. I'm going to take it on the other eye. I'm going to go in with this shimmery cream shade for my inner corner and brow bone and I'm also going to do my under eyes quickly off camera and then I'll be right back. So I am doing some minimal makeup today because I am going to be jumping in the pool after this but for eyeliner I'm going to take my Colourpop creme gel liner the juniper shade and I'm going to use this as my liner today. So I'm just going to use this as if it was an eyeliner. I think doing this just makes the lashes look a bit more fuller. And you can always just like smudge it out after as well. Okay, and now the Colourpop Act Natural Def Defining Mascara. Mine is in brown. This is what the wand looks like. I know I've used a brown mascara in the past. I think it was, oh, like four years ago though. So I don't really remember. How I liked it but so far I'm liking this one it kind of reminds me of the physicians formula natural origin mascara just because it gives that natural look to it and it doesn't really make the lashes bolder because it is brown I think that mascara would be really nice for one of those no makeup makeup days okay so that applied really nicely it didn't apply clumpy at all I'm going in with my The Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. So I'm going in with my Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator in the shade 34N. And I'm going in with my Beauty Blender. I'm just going to apply it. I really like applying this with a Beauty Blender. I feel like it has such a natural look to it. I also, in my last video that I filmed yesterday, which was uploaded Tuesday, I use my NYX Bear With Me setting spray. It's actually a multitasking spray, but I had used it as a primer. And I think it worked out really well. The tinted hydrator is on. I love the look of the Beauty Blender. It's just so natural and soft, I feel like. I'm going in with my Physicians for Formula Murmur Butter Glow Face Palette. I'm going to use the bronzer in this palette. I'm just going to start up here today. Same thing with this side. And I'm going to go in with my Burt's Bees Toasted Cinnamon Blush. This is the M104 brush from Morphe. I love this for blush. Especially when I'm going in with like a pink blush. I like to use this one first and then use the Colourpop F2 to like diffuse the look and make it look more softer. A highlight, I'm using the Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter in 100 Molten Gold. You need so little of this highlight because it's blinding. It's a beautiful blinding. But just keep that in mind. Little nose highlight. And I'm going to set it down with the NYX Dewy Setting Spray. Very harsh mist. Okay, and I'm going in with the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in the shade Red. And because it's almost summer, I like to start using brighter reds. And I'm going in with my NYX Plush Gel Lipstick in the shade 
Sharp Femme. I don't know if NYX still sells these. I hope they do. I love them. I initially bought this in 2017. I think I started getting these because they discontinued those like jumbo lip crayons they had. So I needed like a new everyday lipstick. And I saw these, so I thought I'd try them out. So I think I've been using these, like been getting these since 2017, but I think they're discontinued now. I don't know. I tried looking on the site for them a couple months ago and I couldn't find anything. But that's it. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys like the look I created. I really like this mask this this mascara and I liked how I used the juniper creme gel liner as an eyeliner because they're both brown and I feel like it adds like a nice like look to the eyes I feel like my eyes look more full around the lash line so I really do like it but thank you so so much for watching it means so so much to me if you haven't seen my other videos you should definitely check check those out don't don't forget to subscribe and once again thank you so 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 much for watching it means a lot and I'll see you next time Bye.